Hey there guys and welcome back to Titan Quest Let's Play of the Epic Edition this is Epic Difficulty So I've cleaned out the inventory a bit, sold a few things and Yeah, so we're ready to proceed to the Athens So I'll be showing some of the interesting th things that we'll be encountering on our way there We'll be reaching the battleground soon Battleground is a really big place this is almost like the monster camp part 2 there will be loads of just plain fighting really right here I just want to show this quickly Mogor flame spear the centaur monster hero this is the centaur elder monster hero see. and one of the interesting things he has is um, it's the, something equivalent to the storm surge that we have except it's of earth type this is kind of skill that I wish the, uh, it was possible for the character to have because we don't actually have that in the Earth Mastery, but it's pretty cool skill. It's basically like, like a storm surge, you know, a passive. And that is a shitloads of zombies. Yeah, it's just one of the crypts. One of the crypts on the way there. Uh oh. No. 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 Okay. Fine. Fine. Wouldn't drop chase, would they? Yeah, take this, bitches. All right, and this. This is that uh, ancient Limos side quest. I forget this uh, two side quests actually here. See, trapped in the ruins, and it's this guy. So it gives you a different side quest. All right, so two small side quests to do on our way to Athens. Why not? So. That's another thing we picked up, Centos Curas from one of the Centos. This is one of those that gives lots of poison related things, but it's also got a huge negative health regeneration. Right, so we need vitality resistance mostly against the Limos, so we drink a health potion for luck. And we're going to Colossus to pummel its face with a shield. It's still kind of challenging, I mean, it's not as bad as. Well, oh, there we go, we just. We just kicked his ass, just cornered it. You, you, how did you do that? How did you think, mate? Look at me, I'm fucking huge. That's how I did it. Yeah, so that's that's the shit that you give us, yeah? So yeah, that uh, Limos, it wasn't as bad as when it's on normal, because when you're normal, you still don't have much, you know, you're still not leveled up enough, and then that Limos is a very challenging enemy. If you don't believe me, go back to the normal playthrough that I did and check for yourself. Right, so this is uh, something we found, the first legendary you with this playthrough. I also got Prometheus Flame, let's just get rid of some stuff. There we go, Scorpion's Tail is a spear, so it occupies five slots like that. So, can't equip it, don't have enough dexterity. It does a lot of poison damage. It's mostly for rogue, as you see, it gives bonuses to rogue skills. So it's not going to be much useful to us, unfortunately. But for a rogue character, this will be great. Alright, so let's finish off this Prometheus Flame and see what bonus we get. 25% attack speed. Pretty damn good. Although, yeah, we might save it up in case if we do find a good weapon. No, right now our current one has Valor of Achilles on it, which we're trying to complete still. Alright, so this is where we find those lost Spartans, by the way, for the side quest. Human face is a it sure spell. is. Right, so that's in the Athenian swamp. There's no Hydra here on Epic. The Hydra only appears on Legendary. So don't you worry. Right, so we come back to this guy now. You saw them? There we go, and all he gives us is experience. Hmm. Oh, we are very close to a level up now though. We'll be level 43 next. So there we go, both side quests done. So let's carry on. And this here I wanted to show as well because look at that Satan monster hero, Kaldor Darkball. And I was wondering who kept casting the Squall. I uh, defeated him, but this is a Squall that someone kept casting. And I was like, who's casting it? I thought it was one of the mages. Then I saw that monster hero just hiding there. So yeah, we've been meeting quite a lot of monster heroes. And Satyrs, they do have quite a lot. By the way, we've leveled up now, so I'm gonna be. Putting the skill points 
Let's just pick up everything we found. Alright. Three skill points. Yeah, for the most part we'll be probably spending them in defense for now. To give us more offensive bonuses with our physical skill prowess. So shield charge will get one point. Another one in defensive reaction. And yeah, let's get disruption. We should actually max it out because it's very useful. Increase the number of targets that shield charge hits. Alright, then for attributes, one strength, one dexterity. Yeah, offensive defensive ability really do need a push up. But uh, so far it's bearable. Alright, so we are at the Athenian battleground now. Look at that, it's just chaos. And I've been noticing I've been losing quite health quite easily lately. I think sometimes some monster combinations can be tough. I mean, look, these centaurs, they they keep um, using study prey on us to reduce our resistances. And then you got those pillages over there with earth enchantment shooting. See those pillages? They got earth enchantment and they can also enchant everyone nearby because of their earth enchantment. So you start getting... They get a buff, you get a debuff, and your health starts to drop. So you just gotta be watching your health at times. Even in Act 1, this is like the easiest act overall, you know, between all, across all three difficulties. And still, there are some things here which will kick your ass. Like Talos, whom we're gonna fight at the end of this act, in the Nosos Palace. Not the same Talos from Skyrim, by the way. Alright, so... Yeah, just this area. Yeah, I probably should speed up these parts. There isn't much to see here. I do like the dilapidated state of this place though. It's quite nicely put together. Just wish there wasn't so much fighting here. Uh, Saving Sloop of Thunder. Let's take care of these guys. Alright, so that's that. It's shit. So we're gonna sell it. Okay. And uh, dropped uh, Heracles' Might. Already have one there, so we should join it. It'd be nice to get a third one as well to complete it. And uh, here I just had to show because there's another Satan monster here, Fjernos Charskin. I think we might have fought him already early in the act, but this is look at how many of them, and this is starting to get really cutting into my health here. I mean, all those bowmen just whacking at us, and then this guy just casting area fire spells. That's why I had to go into Colossus form that the number of times I lowered my health yeah so you just gotta chip away one by one that was extremely close that was too damn close yeah they're just chipping away at my health actually no I'm chipping away at them but they're chipping away at my health as well and they're fucking healing the shit out of each other seriously yeah once once he's alone there isn't much he can do Alright, so we got Outrider's Tunic from the Centaurs. It's not too bad, although it's not as good as Outrider's Buckler. Outrider's Buckler is a very nice shield that they drop. See the one we got on the right there. But, uh, just see. Gets some nice resistances. We are losing on a DPS though. Our offensive defensive ability gets a bit of a boost too. It's just, we're losing like about 50 points worth of DPS. So, <coughs> I don't know. I mean, our DPS could be better, even as it is now, so I don't know if I want to change it. Still taking a while to kill some of the enemies. I right, got a couple more here. Relics. Dropping quite a lot. So we got this. Golden Fleece. 170 energy. It's crap. We don't need it. And this, Archimedes Mirror. Good. We already have one completed. Um, see, we already have this one completed for 23 cold, 23 percent cold resistance. All right, and this is uh, finally reaching the city gates, the Athens. We speak to Linnaeus. Ah, it's you again, still alive. Still alive. Nice portal reference. <laughs> Not really. This came out before portal, though. Right. So this the main quest is completed. We've done all the side quests up to now, and. Uh, we should stop around here. Then in the next episode we're gonna go into the Athenian catacombs. Hopefully meet Alistair. And uh, 
uh, I shall join your army for now. Stand here. What's so interesting, guys? Alright, see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.